Hi, you're with Chandeep at Goodly and let's take a look at this peculiar problem where we have uh, the first column as the as the continent, the country, then the uh, technically the, these are the years uh, which are horizontal and underneath the years we have the city or the state and then we have values here. So the first set of values from 2013 to up till 2017 are for revenue and then the second set of values 2013 up till 2017 are for quantity. So we need to con convert this into uh, you know a more tabular format which is something like this. So you would have the continent in the first column, the country and the city and the state in the second and the third column and then we have the year column uh, which is right here. Uh, and then we have revenue and quantity. So what we want to do is every single number needs to be converted into a single row uh, for revenue and for quantity. This is how the result should look like. How are you going to do that? Um, so let's just try and solve this problem by using Power Query. So the first things first, I'm just going to convert this into a table structure. Control T, my table does not have headers. I'm just going to hit OK and it converts into a table structure. I'm going to go to data right here from table range. Um, this is going to take that table and put it into Power Query. All right. So now that we have Power Query uh, in front of us and our data is also in Power Query, let's see how can we solve that. The first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the first row here. So um, you can see that I want to remove that row. Although when I remove that row, I will lose out on uh, what's revenue and what's quantity. But we, we will find a way to get it back. But as of now, let's just remove the row. So I'm going to say remove rows, remove the top row. And how many rows from the top? One row from the top. I'm going to hit out. OK. All right. Once we kind of remove the row, uh, then we're going to say that, hey, make year uh, 2013, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 as a header. So I'm going to use the first row as a header. So use first row as headers, right? All right. So we've now promoted the headers. Let's just also rename the column. This is going to be the continent. This is going to be the country. And this is going to be the, let's say the city, All right? All right, now we can see that North America, this is all North America. So North America, and then you would again have North America here, Europe, and then you'll again have Europe here and so on and so forth. So what I'll do is I'll pick up the continent and the country and I'll say, please fill down and make all the nulls the same as the previous value. How do we do that? Uh, it's a fill down option here. I fill and fill down and this makes everything in sync, right? Now I'm going to pick up the first three columns and convert this into a row based uh, format, right? So continent, country and city. And I'm going to ask Power Query to convert every single number into a single row. So right click here and then say unpivot other columns, right? So the data comes like this, right? Now this is an year, right? And let's just call this as year right away in the formula itself. Um, so that we don't have to kind of create another step, right? After we have unpivoted the column, now I can see that um, 2013, 14, 15, 16, 17 was for revenue and the underscore with the year is for quantity and the same applies here and the same applies here. Now, how did the underscores come when we promoted our data to the header? So you can see that right now there are no underscores. Right. When we promoted this into the headers, you can just have uh, um, uh, 2013 as a header only once. You cannot have two 2013s. Right. So it gave you the first 2013 and the second 2013 came with an underscore. Right. And then we finally, when you've unpivoted that that data and created multiple rows, it had 2013 underscore one, two, three, four, five repeated multiple number of times. That's what's happening. All right, so now what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to add a conditional column. Now that I know that underscore means uh, the quantity, I'm going to add a conditional column. So add column, uh, conditional column. I'm going to say that. Uh, so let's just call this as uh, if the val sorry if the year column uh, contains an underscore, then write the word revenue, right? And let's just call this as type T Y P E. Uh, otherwise, write it as, sorry, if there is an underscore, let's just call it as quantity. Otherwise, let's just call it as revenue. Right? 
and I'm just gonna hit OK and I have revenue quantity revenue quantity you know things like that all right once we have that then I just don't want uh, the underscores anymore so I'm just gonna click on that and then say that please extract only the first four characters because after that the under underscore and the uh, initial uh, number starts so I'm gonna come here and I'm gonna say extract where is extract help me find it extract uh, first characters and first four characters and I'm gonna hit OK and uh, that's about it now what we're gonna do is we need to create two different columns one for revenue and one for quantity so that all the revenues numbers come in a single column and all the quantity numbers go in the second column which is its own column so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna select the type I'm gonna say please make a pivot out of it so pivot the column uh, so uh, use the names in the column type to create a new column. That's right. That's what I want. So I want two columns by the name of revenue and quantity and that's what it says. And the values are come from the values section right here. And uh, let's just go take a look at the advanced. So right now it's saying that, hey, can I just sum the values? No, please don't sum it. Uh, don't aggregate. That's what I'll say. And I'll hit on OK. Let's see what comes. We have revenue. We have quantity and we have the pivot table, uh, the kind of structured data structure that we wanted ready. All right, so that's what we wanted. I'm just gonna say home, and then I'm just gonna say close and load the data. On a second sheet, I would have the data loaded, and that's what I wanted, right? And just take a look at the result. Uh, this is the expected results of the, con uh, the continent, country, and the uh, city of the state, year revenue and the quantity, and that is what we have for, I don't know how many, I think 45 odd values. Let's just take a look at the count about 45 values uh, let's just take a look at this as well do we have 45 rows loaded yes we have 45 rows loaded now why 45 because I believe the revenue numbers in total are 45 in number so you can just take a look at all the numbers here in revenue they are 45 in number so 45 rows loaded is the correct answer right all right that's how you kind of solve a multiple level of uh, unpivoting so if you have two unpivoting levels revenue and quantity that's how you would kind of first unpivot it and then pivot it again back right i hope you like this in case you have any questions please feel free to put them down on the youtube channel in case you're watching the video there or on the blog in case you're watching the video there i'll be more than happy to help you out right thanks for watching and head over to the blog to download this excel file thanks and bye bye